NBA Finals Game 3 Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers this is a pivotal pivotal game for the Cavaliers I would say they would definitely have to uh, win this one uh, obviously because what's at stake you don't want to go down 3-0 now a lot of these uh, so called uh, you know expert analysis and you know people are saying well especially that fool Marcellus Wally who's just nothing but a you know bandwagger of uh, LeBron James constantly keeps saying well last year last year I mean I can't compare last year to this year only in the simple fact that barring any suspensions or injuries this Golden State team has number 35 on her team and then his name is Kevin Durant let's not just look at the offensive output that he's doing better than Harrison Barnes from last year and you know when Harrison just putting up 60 something points in uh, seven games and you got Kevin Durant with 70 in two games the defensive prowess that Kevin Durant has brung with guarding LeBron guarding Kevin Love down low when they go small, he gives them so much flexibility. It's almost having two Draymond Greens out there defensively causing havoc and having the ability to switch and being able to match up with other guys. And this is a game where the Cleveland Cavaliers need a Kyrie Irving 30 plus game and a 20 plus game from Kevin Love. If they want to win this and the bench has to give them at least 15 to 16 points. If they want to win this game, they're not going to beat the Golden State Warriors in the track meet. They're just not going to. If Golden State gets passed over 100 points, they're going to lose. And the Cavaliers have to have a minimum of 12 to 13 turnovers in this game if they want to win. There's positives in game two, forcing them to 20 turnovers, but you got to play defense. My thing with the Cavaliers is you, you haven't played defense good all year, and you were able to get away with it through Indiana and um, Toronto and Boston. Golden State. It's neither of those teams. They're not even on Golden State's playing field. It's much harder to get that defense clicking on a switch when you're playing a team like this because you were giving up open shots to Boston and um, the Raptors knowing those guys can't hit shots. But now you have guys like, you replace guys like, you know, uh, Boston with, the guys that Golden State got that are hitting shots like uh, Steph Curry, uh, Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green get to hit the shot. And those guys aren't going to miss. It's just hard to defend the Golden State Warriors right now. And I'm, I, I just don't know if Cleveland has an answer. Maybe tonight they will. Uh, maybe Tyrone Lue will figure something out. But right now... They need to find a way to play defense and, you know, control the uh, the uh, the boards. That's the way they're going to win, and that's the way they got to win. Those are the things they're going to have to do to win in this game. Um, they just, they can't, they can't allow themselves to lose uh, the turnover battle in this game at home. They got to force... Um, Golden State in the turnovers again like they did in game two. And I know they won, but the reason that they won with 20 turnovers is the the thing that's been plaguing Cleveland throughout the season and even through the playoffs, even through that great run they had, is their defense. Because if you go back and look at some of the games with uh, the Boston and uh, Toronto, they left guys wide open those guys did not uh, make shots. And like I said earlier in this video, the guys that are open now are Steph Curry, uh, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. You can't leave those guys open because they will knock down a shot. So 
you can't rely on on just you know leaving guys open like you could in the other uh, previous playoff games because your opponent wasn't up to par. They got to get hands in their face. They got to contest shots. If they make contest shots, live with that. Majority of the time, they're not going to make it if you play solid defense. But Cleveland has to control the boards. That's one area where they really, really need some extra help from Tristan Thompson. And Tristan Thompson needs to have a monster game on the offensive glass. Because that means they're getting more opportunities, less opportunities for the Golden State Warriors. You got to limit their their, their uh, attempts by you controlling the uh, shot clock, getting the good shot. And if you don't get a good shot, you got to play defense on the other end. But that's the thing. Their defense was ranked 22nd during the season. They played a lot better in the playoffs, but... Did they play a lot better or were their opponents not as good as their defense? That's a lot of the questions that people need to ask. They had a marvelous playoff run, but their weaknesses can't be hidden against a team with three to four legitimate uh, guys that can put the ball in the basket. And you got three, you know, four all-stars on your team. On one team. So. They got to find a way to create turnovers. Like I said. They got to crash the boards. Now Golden State. In this game. I have a feeling they're going to come out aggressive. They're not going to just settle for threes. They're going to force the issue to go inside. They're going to try to get inside. Because I think Steve Kerr is going to get these guys to play aggressive. Now you can't simulate. Being desperate as a team that's down 0-2 compared to the team that's up or two. But I think what they will do is play with a, a sense of urgency to get this done, to rectify what happened last year. But I don't want to compare last year because, like I told you, Kevin Durant makes a huge difference. This Warriors team defensively has just been nothing but short of spectacular. And Cleveland's got their hands full. Now, the Warriors... They're going to run their offense with a lot of motion, guys coming off of screens, picks, you know, double sets, getting Curry freed up, getting Durant freed up, getting Clay freed up. But to me, it's they're going to be their defense. Until the Cleveland Cavaliers find a way to solve their defense, especially with Kevin Durant basically being another Draymond Green out there, it's going to be hard. This is where the bench could make a difference. Can J.R. Smith finally wake up? and make plays we have to wait and see uh in game three tonight and um i know you've seen the blown out here and I, this game got away in the third quarter in my uh, prediction video and it just got sloppy turnovers that's that's what did it turnovers 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 that that will get you in a uh big big giant hole quick turnovers will get you to lose real fast and if you don't find a way to uh limit them you're not going to beat the warriors man that's um that's what i would you know um, that's what i'm going to look for in tonight's game it's just the strategy defensively for the cleveland cavaliers um are they going to go with a different uh you know lineup with a specific you know are you going to go with the shooters or are you going to find a different way to combat what they're doing? Because Golden State can virtually match up with any line, lineup that you throw out there, small, big, and they got the shooters and defenders out there to match up with your guys. And Cleveland got shooters, but not guys who are great defenders or athlete, have that men, have that much athletic ability out there. So it's going to be intriguing to see. Very intriguing to see what go down for Game 3. So... I got Golden State edging out Cleveland in a close one. I think Cleveland will make this close. Play a lead, take a lead a couple times, maybe have a 10-point lead at a certain point. But I think Golden State will go up 3-0 in the series.